Is Dr. Nye anything I ought to know? At university, she was one of the brightest and best. Hello, Elliot. You're the one who's going to cure us. It's a preventable disease, Elliot. And they're dying. He's scared. Dark Lord. Handsome. They didn't part in the best of terms. I think it's time to stop now. A young woman has lost her life. I do things other people are afraid to do. You put lives at risk. Adam's my only chance of a relationship. You can move on, yeah. You'll find someone who doesn't solve his problems by laying into his partner. So I can have my op today. If you think you're ready. Appendicectomy prepped and ready to go. Sounds like a fast food order. I had a takeaway last night. The third time this week, isn't it? It's a slippery slope, you know. Morning. It could be fab cooking for one all that washing up. Okay, well, could we change Mr. George's obs to four Ireland, please? What was it this time? Curry? Chinese? Chips. Curry sauce. A large glass of wine. Heaven on the couch. You really need to go out more. Mr. Asante's ECG's come back with some abnormalities, so I'd like someone from Darwin to come and take a look. Was that mad new dating show last night, Hot or Not? Did you see it? Is that a serious question? Right, so all these gorgeous women stand in a line in their bikinis, and this really smarmy guy with his big bushy beard that he clearly thinks is like a hipster but just looks like a giant merkin <laughs> gets to say whether they're... Hot or not. If only real life was that simple. Hey, I'll empty if you like. If you're clearly struggling to find anyone half decent, you might just slip in under the radar. Cheers. Better make that call. Oh, who are you trying to impress? I'm doing a tour for some wannabe medics. Keen mini Digbys. Looking for a positive role model. Plus, good presentation is all part and parcel of appearing professional. You might want to mention that to your hubby. You've got to be kidding me. How's he doing? He's made miraculous progress. That is really good. He could be leaving later today if his tests are clear. Ongoing treatment? A uh, six-month course of combined antibiotics. His outcome looks very positive. At least we managed to save one of them. Mm. Would you mind doing his odds? I'm rather busy. Sure. Somebody loves you. God only knows why. Oh. Oh. Is your man in the doghouse? He was meant to be getting a few weeks on shore. But there was a problem with the rig. All leave. Cancelled. More chicken biryani for one, then. I feel a bit crazy when I'm on my own for too long. I start talking to myself. I play music too loud. I think last week my landlady thought I was having some kind of crazy party, but it was just me. There's some drinks and albies later if you fancy. Might keep you out of trouble. Uh, that depends how much tequila I drink. Is that a yes? Oh, why not? I've got banged up abroad on series record. Uh, Miss Carroll's waiting here. I'm just getting a bit anxious. Thanks for waiting. Just a transfer from the ED. Can you send her over to Bay One, please? I'm like the proverbial bad penny. You see. <laughs> oh, come on. You have much more experience with teenagers than I do. Exactly. This is why I'm not going anywhere near them. You'll be fine. You've got loads in common. Hairstyling, concealer brands, piercings. How do you know about my piercing? I didn't. I do now. Hanson will be down shortly to consult with the patient. Now, in his eyes, 
taking on this responsibility might give you some extra brownie points. And let's face it, you could really do with them. That's where he's concerned. OK, OK, fine. Let's get it over with. Girls, ladies, people. My name is Dr. Copeland. Oh, cute. Well, he looks like two and a half. <sighs> Welcome to Holby City Hospital Taste Today. I hope you're looking forward to this as much as I am. Any questions before we begin the tour? Where can I have a fag? Is there anyone I can call? Your mum? Oh, it's fine. You're all like family now, anyway. You're looking really well. You think so? Yeah. Super chill for someone who's in chronic <laughs> pain. Whatever you're on, can I have some? Been much happier lately. Looking after myself properly for the first time in ages. So what happened? The wound from the bone graft was healing nicely. I was almost back to normal mobility. And this started out of nowhere. I'll get Dr. Digby to take a look. I'll be a sec. But Mr. DeLuca's my surgeon. He's in theater. Don't know how long he's gonna be and you're in so much pain. I'm happy to wait. I'm afraid we can't visit any wards or theatres today due to health and safety, confidentiality, etc. What about the morgue? Never seen a rule like the corpse. We've organised several clinicians today to speak to you about their chosen specialism. Anyone like McDreamy? Grace is the only reason I'm interested in medicine. I strongly suggest you don't say that in your interview. Where did you study, Dr. Copeland? I'm hoping to go to Cambridge, but obviously... Here she goes I'm... again on a sucker. I'm asking because I'm actually interested. Like anyone cares. OK, squeeze in, everyone. I think Zane will be well enough to be discharged today. Fine, I'll see to it. You're still angry? I'm happy that Zane is doing so well, despite his terrible loss. But not happy with me. This job can drive you to the edge. It's a constant fight for resources, day in, day out. And you will do anything to try and get your patients the help they need. You made that crystal clear. I'm not trying to excuse what I did, but I just don't think you quite understand. I understand that you lied to me. I thought we were friends. Oh, we are. Friends don't deceive one another. I'm so sorry, Elliot. What for? You got exactly what you wanted by shamelessly manipulating me. I call that job well done. It's not as clear cut as that. It is to me. <laughs> sorry to interrupt. It's Zeng. Oh, Raf, bed one. I might remember her. Is that Lucy? What was the problem? She's got pain in and around her hip wound. Maybe you thought you might want to have a look. Yeah, I'll do that now. Hi, Lucy. Sorry for the wait. No worries. In fact, it's perfect timing. I was listening to Five Live. They're talking odds and the rugby world cup. Oh, here we go. Scotland's got no chance, apparently. Wales, on the other hand. That we came this close to beating you in the Six Nations. Never underestimate the underdog. Oh, oh come on. Scotland didn't win a single game. Couldn't even beat Italy. This Martinez back me up here. Well, you're both rubbish compared to Ireland. Sorry, <laughs> but who actually won the Six Nations? I rest my game. Ah! All right, mm. look, uh, I'll take a look at both your hips now. Oh! Uh, if you could take a temperature for me, please. Just 
going to ease this down, all right? Mm. Oh. Well, that wound looks red and inflamed. It's leaking fluid. Pus. 37.8. God, that really hurts. Get you something for the pain. Oh, thanks. We'll run some tests to see what's going on. That wound was in such good shape at your last checkup. I've also got pain here in the upper and outer thigh. And I get this burning sensation here. The whole area is sensitive to heat. Sometimes it's so bad I can hardly walk. I'm wondering whether there might be some nerve damage from the incision. It's a possibility. Why didn't you come in sooner? Part of my past, I didn't want to bother you. I'm never too busy to see you, Lucy. No, don't worry. We'll get to the bottom of it. FBC, UNEs, LFT and clotting and... Uh, CRP and ESR tests and 500 milligrams of corn mox club and a CT scan, please. Thank you. Both of you. That's what we're here for. On very suddenly. He seemed fine before. He's weak. <coughs> Prone to post operative complications. Zane, look at me. Zane, you're going to be okay. We're going to get this sorted, understand? I, I, I can't die. Why is this? I won't let that happen, understand? <coughs> We have to act fast. I need a chest X-ray and CT scan to confirm, but I'm pretty sure his bronchial stump is blown. Let's open him up. No, I'll do it with the bronchoscope. It'll give him his best chance. I don't want to move him. He's weak enough already. I'd like to be there. Please. OK, quick as you can, please, girls. Professor Sinclair, one of our radiology consultants, has kindly agreed to give us a brief talk on Alzheimer's disease imaging. Ugh. Can't we do something a little more sexy? Transplants? Plastics? I'm planning a boob job for my 18. Brain transplant might be more useful. <laughs> Actually, I'm really interested in elderly medicine. Excellent. Somebody has to be. I think she fancies him. Poor Sadie. Do you think she knows that he's gay? <laughs> I'm sorry, speak up. Say he's a little naive, never had a boyfriend. And I'm sure you've had many. <laughs> <laughs> right, now before we go and see Professor Sinclair, can any of you tell me what is the difference between radiology and radiotherapy? Radiology is the use of imaging to diagnose and treat disease. Radiotherapy is... is what? It's... Go on. I really want to know. She's got Alzheimer's already. <laughs> I would explain it to you myself, but unfortunately I'm all out of crayons and puppets. Right. Shall we? So you and Adam? Don't even think about him anymore. Is that kind of an easy? I know what I want now what I'm worth, and I'm going to go for it. Still planning to go back to medicine, then? Not 100% sure, but Mr DeLuca's been really encouraging. Good. It'd be such a shame to turn your back on all that training. He's really gone out of his way, just been so kind, so caring. Well, don't you tell him that to his face. He's got a big enough head as it is. <laughs> I wouldn't dream of it. He's still a Scotland supporter. <laughs> Actually, my human right to smoke if I want to. Fine, kill yourself. Just don't do it on my time. Right, as I said earlier, we can't actually be involved in war duties, but I thought it would be useful for us to observe from a distance. What exactly are we supposed to be looking at? It's just beds and old people. Crash team! They say that on Greys. Don't move. Viv, come on. Oi! Lip gloss, hair extensions, get back here! Oh my god, this is not happening. Out! Who on earth 
Uh, they're aspiring med students. They're here for some inspirational guidance with a positive role model. And you chose Dr. Copeland. Get off this ward immediately. Dr. Copeland, consultant's office, now. I made it perfectly clear that the ward was out of bounds. But they didn't listen. They showed me zero respect. Respect is two-way traffic, Dr. Copeland. And addressing those young women as, what was it? Lip gloss and hair extensions doesn't strike me as particularly courteous or professional. I'm sorry, Mr. Hanson. You are supposed to be modelling the sort of doctor they might aspire to be. I understand that, but... Are you or are you not capable of looking after those students in a professional manner for the remainder of the day? I know you have a very low opinion of my abilities, but I am good at my job. Mr. Self clearly thought so when he allowed you to return. Thanks for respecting me. Thanks so much. Uh, Mrs. Johnson, B5, upper ops to 15 minutes. No problem. You seem very matey. Oh, she's been asking his advice. You know, about the surgery, about getting back into medicine. Oh, what did I mean? Yeah. Really need to twist the tip. Yeah. Is it just me, or did that feel a little bit weird? <sighs> yeah, you're not on your own. Well, you say she's been asking his advice. She's texting, you know, they went out for coffee. Outside of work? Yeah, no, you don't think they'd... I mean, he'd never intentionally lead her No, on. but... She's really vulnerable and she admires them. <laughs> Boundaries can get a bit blurred. I'll tell him to back off a bit then. No. No, you as a mate might be a bit awkward. Let me. One more false move from anyone and I will wipe the floor with you. Understood? We'll break for lunch. We'll reconvene in an hour. By the way, if any of you even think about not returning, please bear in mind that I shall be writing a report about each and every one of you by the end of today. A bad one may go towards ruining your chances of a career in medicine. Seriously? No, it's a big fat lie, but I need to control them, otherwise Hanson's gonna kill me. So, best behaviour from now on, and uh, hopefully you'll all have a chance to redeem yourselves later. Oh, okay, make some space, please. Is the lady? Oh, don't panic, she'll be fine. She's just attention seeking, she's always doing this. What happened? She just passed out. Sorry, I, I just didn't have any breakfast. You hit your head? Sorry, it's nothing. Oh, it's okay. I know I'll be right, but I just want to keep an eye on you. For a while just to make sure okay yeah you got a nasty cut right let's get her into bed uh, and your obs every 30 minutes and then we'll take a view okay, okay. let's just go to the nurse that's it okay girls the tour is over there is a god viv let's go hang on wait a second please i'm going to need one of you to stay with sadie until her parents arrive so any volunteers Seriously? Oh, okay. Well, in the absence of a member of staff, we usually ask for a student to be appointed pupil leader, so who's that? Fine. Okay. Well, the rest of you can go. <clears throat> we'll contact your school for a reschedule. Sorry, babe. Good 
news. It looks like the stump isn't completely blown. It's just a small hole. Make sure you check thoroughly for any signs of necrotic tissue. You brought Zane here because you trusted he would get the best treatment possible. You either let me get on with it or leave now. I sometimes feel lightheaded, confused, I can't see straight. Okay. And how long have you been having those symptoms for? Um, I'm not sure. A few months, maybe. It's worse when I'm stressed. Which is all the time. Panics about everything. Would you mind if I was able to speak to my patient without being interrupted? Thank you. And are you currently on any medication? No. Very neat, if I say so myself. Um, Nurse Harrison, can we also get uh, LFT, FPC and UNEs, please? Thank you. You know who you really remind me of? Chris Hemsworth? I get that all the time. Kurt from Glee. Keep expecting you to break into Bourne this way. Hmm. Multi-award winning actor. I can't complain about that, can I? I'll get those tests sorted. Hey, babe. <laughs> yeah. What? No mobiles on the ward. It disturbs the other patients. But that was my boyfriend. I was supposed to be meeting him. Tough. Sadie's mum's away. She won't be here for hours. But there's nothing wrong with her. It's all in her head. She practically said it herself. I'm the doctor. You're the vacuous team queen. I caught the shots. In it. Is that from the right? It's probably nothing, but, um... Lucy Motica. What? Is there a problem with the results? Oh, no, no. Bloods aren't back yet. We're still waiting on CT. They're really backed up. What then? Well, you and your big Bambi eyes. Uh, I think they might have got you into trouble. Bambi eyes? I didn't know I had those. Just earlier, I saw Lucy giving you a gift. Well, that? Well, that was, that was just a joke. Welsh dragon cufflinks. She thought that it would wind me up. I know, but gifts from patients, they can be misinterpreted. Hang on a minute. You're not suggesting that there's something inappropriate going on here? No, of course not. But I'm just worried that she might be finding all this a bit confusing. I mean, Fletch said you've been texting, you met outside of work. Yeah, because she wanted to discuss the possibility of further cosmetic work on her jaw. I made it perfectly clear that I felt it was unnecessary. That's all there was to it. And I'm sorry if I'm getting the wrong end of the stick, but I just thought, with her history with men, with her vulnerability... That I might take advantage of that? No. Because that's what it sounds like. All I have done is try and help a damaged and gifted young woman get her life back. But if you think that a pair of cufflinks will jeopardise that, then I'd better return them. I didn't mean... I think you've made it perfectly clear what you meant. I'm getting ready to close the hole now. Clips, please. Keep it open. Close the clip. Thank you. It seems to be holding. Second clip. Thank you. Okay. Open. Close. We could use the long catheter, glue the clips in place, double the support. If you agree, of course. Let's do it. Glue, please.
Biscuit. Oh, you know me. Chocolate or Garibaldi? Ah, let me think. Um, Garibaldi. The uh, pancreatic tumour in bed seven. I notice he's been scheduled for theatre. Do you know we used to call these squash fly biscuits? Oh, come on, Mr. Levy. You more or less promised me I could assist on that case before I became Holby's resident teen queen wrangler. Oh, but... Scrubbing in on a complex tumour removal could be just the turning point I need. That was before you were committed to another patient? Who, by all accounts, might be just having an attack of the vapours. Well... That's just the way the cookie crumbles. Sorry, I haven't been back before now. The surgery was more involved than I thought. Don't worry. I know I can't monopolise your attention. But your bloods are back and it's all good news. Your FBC is normal. White cell is slightly raised, as is your CRP. So the infection hasn't progressed to sepsis stage? No. And if you keep the wound clean and dressed and with antibiotics, I don't envisage any further problems. I do suggest that you make an appointment with your GP, though, in a few days, just to make sure. So you won't be keeping me in? Mm. Yeah, it won't be long. Apologies for the delay with the CT scan. They seem to be having some technical problems. I really don't mind waiting. I'm hardly an emergency. I want you to have the best of care, Lucy. But I think it's probably best if Dr Digby handles your case for the rest of today. But you're my doctor. It's been brought to my attention that I perhaps am not keeping my professional boundaries clear. I don't understand. It, it's ridiculous, I know, but I was seen accepting your gift earlier. Strictly speaking, I shouldn't have done that. So, I'm sorry. No. I didn't think you were stupid of me. No, it's not your fault. It's, it's just PC nonsense, but... A concern <laughs> was expressed that you might be developing some sort of a crush on me. A crush? I'm not 16. <sighs> like I'd ever go for a doctor and know what they like. Yeah, it's insane. I know. I didn't expect you to actually wear them, obviously. It was just a bit of fun. But I know the rules, don't worry about it. Look, it might be best if you stop texting me too. Okay, whatever. Uh, Dr. Digby will be along for a little chat as soon as we've sorted out that CT slot. Thanks. Wondered where you'd rushed off to. Zane started coming round, so. I'm sorry. I'll be fine in a minute. I was just terrified we'd lose him, too. We didn't. He's going to be absolutely fine. Elliot, I know you don't approve of what I did, but I can't apologise for it. I'm tough and bullish and single-minded, and I'm prepared to step over the line if I have to, because that's the only way I can keep this show on the road. If we'd have lost both of them, I don't know how to find the strength. So thank you, Elliot. From the bottom of my heart. I don't want you to hate me. Did you get any World Cup tickets in the ballot? I didn't apply. 
A uh, mate of ours got loads. I could see if any of them are for Scotland games. Could we just concentrate on the work? Oh, and to put your mind at rest, I transferred Lucy Motica's case to Dr Digby. I wasn't accusing you of anything. It was just... She thought it was as ridiculous as I did. You told her. Why hasn't Mr Dunlop had his MRI yet? I thought I booked it. Well, there's no mention of it in his notes. I'll do it now. Visual efficiency and attention to detail seem to have deserted you, Nurse Martinez. Maybe if you weren't so fixated in my relationship with certain patients, you might be able to do a proper job. If all goes to plan, Zane should be ready to leave in three or four days. But you're both welcome to stay longer if uh, he needs more time to recuperate. Well, thanks, but things sound a bit desperate already. But to be honest, I do need to make a few calls. Could I use your office? Yes, of course, of course. Just stay away from the theatre schedule this time, Teal. I'll just ask you. Uh, Mr Hanson's PA, he'd like to see you as soon as possible. About what? Mr. DeLuca really isn't a happy bunny. What were you thinking? And he's your boss, which makes it super awkward. Why didn't you just ask me? Ah, oh, it seems to be getting worse again. Uh, uh, Mr. DeLuca prescribed cold moxiclan, not erythromycin. You're right. This is Mr. Santos' medication. Head all over the place. again, shall we? A survey in the States reported that 7,000 deaths a year were caused by medical prescription errors alone. Can you believe it? I would have picked it up when they checked your charts. Of course you would. I couldn't have asked for better care. From you and Raph. I mean, Mr. DeLuca. I just wanted to let you know how impressed I was with the way you handled a very difficult, complex and demanding situation. Well, thank you very much. Seems there's life in the old dog yet. My thoughts entirely. Which leads me on to the other reason I asked to see you. Take a seat, please. We all stagnate without fresh challenges, new paths to tread. Which is why I would like to offer you the position of Director of Research. You would oversee and help implement all research studies here at Holby City Hospital, be in charge of the funding, progress and approval process, in other words, you would hold the purse strings and have complete control over all research projects going forward. Wow. Um, I don't know what to say. It's a position of great power and influence. You'd be entirely your own man. What about my surgical practice? Well, that's a very demanding new role, but if you wanted to keep your hand in, I suppose surgery one day a week, you wouldn't have time for more. Well, I you know this might seem a drastic change, but I think the time has come for a new adventure. Good news, Sadie. Your test results are back and they're all clear. Just like I said. So can I go now? The school insists that you wait for Sadie's mum to get back. You know what her problem is? She hardly ever eats. I can't help it if I don't feel hungry. Well, maybe from now on you'll force yourself. 
Stop wasting everyone's time fainting all over the place. And someone might actually fancy you. Boys like her. I don't care what boys like. You just put a bit of effort in. Stop being so weird. Get out of here, please. Like I'd be here if I didn't have to be. You clumsy cow, I'm so... I'm sorry. Just then, when you went for the glass. My arm, it, it just goes numb sometimes, like I can't control it. Right. Can you turn your head to the right for me? I'm just going to listen to your neck. Yes? Miss Campbell, you wanted to see me? Uh, yes, Nurse Martin is uh, coming. <clears throat> I'm afraid Ms. Motika's made a formal complaint against you. She's accusing you of medical negligence. I don't understand. Well, she claims that you were about to give her the wrong antibiotic, that without her medical background and vigilance, both she and another patient would have been given the wrong drug. And, of course, she is aware of the consequences. I would have noticed what I picked up her chart. It would never have got that far. That's her word against yours, I'm afraid, so we'll have to follow the formal complaints procedure. No, she's only doing this because she's angry with me. Because I told Mr. DeLuca, I thought she might have feelings for him. Right. Uh, he said it was ridiculous, it got very defensive, but I wasn't accusing him of anything. I was just trying to make him aware of her vulnerability, and this just proves I was right. Maybe you should have come to me earlier. I didn't know what to do. Um, it's true Miss Motica has been through a great deal, and it's not unusual for patients to develop strong feelings for their doctor, but that would be no defence against a genuine medical error. If there has been one. But now, I need you to complete a statement and then present it to Mr Hanson. Miss Campbell, I... I'm, I'm sorry, I can't get involved any further. And I need you to stay away from Lucy Motika and Mr. DeLuca until this is resolved. She's young. She's not a smoker. She's in good shape. Uh, no diabetes, no anemia. Yeah, but she is suffering with blurred vision, headaches, confusion. And when I listened to her blood flow, I thought I heard bruise. Which are easily mistaken or misheard. Yes, but when you look at the whole... I suggest that you observe. Ask more questions. So you don't think it's carotid artery disease? In an unusual presentation, the key often lies with a patient. Maybe there's something she's not telling you. in the cafe and these caught my eye. Thank you. Remember what they used to call you? The dough nutter. And I've never regretted a single calorie. <laughs> mm. <laughs> good meeting. More than good, really. Extraordinary. Mr. Hansen offered me director of research. Oh, Elliot, that's wonderful. I had no idea I was even being considered. It's a huge honour, obviously, the projects I could achieve. My dream of developing the first artificial lung could actually become a reality. But... But... what? It's what you've been aiming for your entire career. What's the problem?
How are you feeling? Guilty. Everyone's being so kind. Not quite everyone. Where is she? Refilling her lungs with tar. I wish she didn't have to be here. So do I, believe me. But if there's anything you'd like to tell me while she's not here... Sadie, I'm trying to help you. But I can't do that if you don't talk to me. your doctor prescribe these. He says I have an anxiety disorder. When things get really bad, they help. Really bad how? Started when I was 13. They all started ganging up on me. But it wasn't part of it at first until Scarlett decided she was acceptable and I wasn't. Why doesn't that surprise me? We were best friends when we were kids. Then she just turned on me. They all did. I couldn't make any sense of it and I just started to get all panicky. <laughs> Cambridge has always been the dream. My way out. Started working really hard, but the girls didn't like that. So I needed them more than ever. Thank you. Whilst we're confessing secrets. When I was a teenager, I used to be a really big Christina Aguilera fan. And when the bullies used to come for me, I would repeat this over and over and over. I am beautiful in every single way. Words can't bring me down. Of course, they'd hit me even harder. But I didn't care. I hadn't let them win. So, uh, CT, you find me ready for you. I need to see Mr. Luca. The wound seems to be deteriorating. OK, well, he's transferred the case to me, but... Uh, we'll just, we have I a... said I want Mr. De Luca! You're not supposed to be here. Get her away from me. I'm worried about you, Lucy. I think you need some help. What's wrong with everyone? Mr. De Luca's my surgeon. I have a right to see him. Oh, oh thank God. I'm sorry. I was starting to panic. The wound is getting worse. It, it's more open, weeping. Of course, I understand. I'll take a look. I think maybe you know why it's getting worse, don't you, Lucy? Nurse Martinez, I thought I'd made myself quite clear. Look, you don't understand. I'd like you to go. No. Lucy, I think you should tell them the truth. What are you talking about? She opened the wound herself. I was there, Lucy. I don't believe her. She's lying. She'll say anything. A wound that's been tampered with looks very different from one that's degrading naturally. They didn't do anything. Well, uh, it's very simple. Just let me see. No one's angry with you, Lucy. You're not very well. Me? You're the one who's making things up. Raph, are you going to let her speak to me like that? Lucy, just let Mr. DeLuca have a quick look. Hmm? Yeah, come on, Lucy. It's Lucy! Suffering from panic attacks, that could explain the dizziness, the tiredness, and the blurred vision. Yes, but panic attacks and anxiety don't fully explain the slurred speech or the loss of coordination. Are you perhaps seeing what you want to see? 
I suggest that you give this up now, Dr. Cohen. Yet another nail in the coffin of my quest for glory and recognition. Your time will come. How are you feeling? I can breathe. The cough is gone. Professor Hope is a miracle worker. So, that is it. I'm cured. We'll do another chest X-ray to make sure the clips are holding and that there are no more holes, but... Uh... Yes, I believe you are. You are true to your word. I always try to be. I'm only sorry that we couldn't save Aisha too. When I reopen the school, I will do it in her name. And you'll bring hope to the village, just like she did for all those who managed to survive. Aisha will never be forgotten. <laughs> Finally see three, then. Mummy's still not here. Well, if she can't be bothered, neither can I. And you can tell Kurt Hummel, he can write what he likes. Stay! Please. You're 17. You don't need a babysitter. No, I... I need a friend. Can't see one. Sorry. You used to get me. Because you were different too. Are you sure they said you can go? But now you're just like them. I think you need to sit down. I never understood what I did wrong. Why you... You hated me so much. Sadie, stop being so weird. But I still really miss who you, you were. Her over here. Now she needs help for all this time. Okay, I've got you. I've got you. It's all right. It's just, okay, let's just get you into bed. Who are you? BP's low pulse is dropping. Looks like a dramatic arterial bleed to We me. need to go in and stop this now or risk her bleeding out. Okay, I've leaked the entity. Are you sure you should be involved? She's my patient. I'm 50% blocked. You were absolutely right. There's no need to sound so surprised. Well, what is it? I don't understand. You've been experiencing what we call transient ischemic attacks. Um, basically, these are episodes that mimic stroke-like symptoms. So the slurring and the weakness in your left side. But strokes happen to old people. It is rare for it to happen in someone so young. It's my fault, isn't it? No. Yeah. It's just extremely bad luck. But we can do a procedure called an endarterectomy, which will unblock the artery and will prevent the risk of something serious. So it's nothing to do with the antidepressants? No, nothing. You're on antidepressants? A word, please? Don't even think about using that as new ammunition. What do you mean? The reason Sadie is on those pills is you. The stress you and your so-called friends put her under. The relentless bullying. I'm not a bully. That's precisely what you are. I wasn't serious. She just couldn't take a joke. If you think this is funny, then it's you I feel sorry for. Not Sadie. That's all the courts. Okay, let's find the source of that bleed retractor, please. Thank you. C could you move the light? Left bit. That's it. Why would anyone do this? Heaven only knows. Okay, I think I found the bleed. Diathermy, please.
can't believe she would do all of this just to get my attention. Move the light closer in. What the hell is that? Maybe that will convince you. Is that a piece of bone or...? Shard must have broken off when she was digging at the wound, I suppose. I'd like you to assist with the end of selection. You're only being nice because you feel guilty. Yeah, you had a hunch and you stuck to your guns. Thank you. Which is why I have made Mr. Hanson aware of this case and your part in it. And due to the rarity of the diagnosis in someone so young, he's decided he wants to observe. God, really? Come on. This is what you wanted. This is your chance to shine. I'm so beneath his contempt that I could find the cure for cancer, AIDS, and Ebola, and he still wouldn't give me any credit. I'll see you in there. Zane's chest looks right. Clips are holding. Good, thank you. Hansen's offered you director of research. Yes. That's fantastic. I know. So, why are you looking like you've got 24 hours to live? Because... I've just been offered the job I've worked all my life for. Feel nothing. You're exhausted. No, no, it's not that. It's um, it's what I'd have to say goodbye to. My patience, surgery, the satisfaction of transforming people's lives. I feel something about that. Then think about how many more people you can help through research. Hundreds, thousands. Like Zane and his school. Aisha. You can't turn it down. Scrubbing in now. Okay, okay. <sighs> what if my hand shakes? Or I swear, or pee my pants. He's going to be judging my every move. Just imagine him vacuuming naked with a daffodil up his bum. That should make him slightly less terrifying. You're disgusting. Thank you. Hurry up! Oh, my God. The surgery seemed to go well. Although it'll be some time before we know whether there's been any permanent damage. It must be so frustrating. You've taken such good care of me. I'm not quite good enough. What I did was wrong. But one of us had to do something. I know you have feelings for me. I care for you as my patient, Lucy. You have to say that. But I know it's more. We both do. I'm sorry. If you've confused my professional concern for something more, that was never my intention. I cared for you, but just not in the way that you're thinking. I thought 
you loved me. I don't. What, what am I gonna do now? <laughs> don't. No. Hey. Dr. Copeland, would you step back away from the edge? Please. What was I thinking? Like you'd ever be suicidal with guilt. And smoking will kill you. <laughs> Why am I like this? I hate myself so much. <laughs> What you said, he was on his way. He was. Text him again. Well, I suggested Dr. Copeland doesn't materialize soon. Put the poor girl out of her misery and get on with the procedure. We always like the same games, same toys. One Christmas, we both got this toy medical kit, a Fred with a white cross on. And that was it, we were going to be doctors. You have to go. Fine, till we started secondary. Then Sadie kept getting straight A's, I couldn't keep up. So you went all Perez Hilton on her? I'm not proud of it. I never meant for this to happen. Oh, there's always payback. Got AS results last week. I got C's and D's. Sadie smashed it and I hated her even more. Now I just hate myself. Which is your fatal flaw? Bona fide mean girls never feel a moment's guilt. So a nice bib still inside there somewhere. Anyway, being a doctor really isn't all that. Listen, you're young, you're gorgeous, you have a zillion options at your fingertips. One summer in Ibiza, I nearly swerved. Got offered a trial as a transvestite podium dancer. I looked surprisingly good in a leather jock strap and a feather bow. Probably would have been more appreciated. Well, I enjoyed our brief foray into the past. We've always made a good team. <laughs> How long is it since we last worked together? It must be at least 30 years. Uh, the world was at our feet. We both had to make choices that determined the rest of our lives. And here we are again, back at the crossroads. Research and development is what I'm best at. I'll never get this opportunity again. I have to go for it. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Do you have to go now? I'd like to buy you dinner, celebrate our new entente cordiale. <sighs> Nothing I'd like more, but with Zane out of danger, I really need to focus on planning your return. Of course. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> <up. laughs> I'll hold you to it. This 
isn't who I want to be. I know. I want a nice, regular, sorted life like yours, with a man who sends me flowers. And my life is just as messed up as everyone else's. Believe me. I used to be someone with a future. And then I met Adam. But this can't be the end. Or he's won. Look, I called up the Seb Coulter. He said he'd be happy to see you again, if that's what you want. I guess so. If you think it'd be safe with me, it's pretty fit. <laughs> Thank you. Carol. Uh, I'm so sorry for for not listening, for being impossibly arrogant. You can't help it, remember? You're a surgeon. Yeah, a very stupid one. At least you withdrew her complaint, by the way. There's no getting rid of me now. I'm delighted to hear it. Look, by way of an apology, and in light of your self-confessed fast food addiction, I would like to treat you to a kebab after Albies. Chips, curry sauce, might even throw in a pickled gherkin. Yeah, I'm actually really tired. I think I'm going to get the drinks in me. All right. Oh, another time, then. Good night. You feel a little discomfort and some numbness, but that will pass fairly quickly. <laughs> ah, the Wanderer returns. What on earth did you get to? Ah. Is she OK? Yes, yes, it all went very well. How long has she been for? Day or two. I was thinking maybe we could go out this weekend. Just you and me. Why? Because I've missed you too. isn't giving you a break. Make a brilliant diagnosis, get to leave the operation, which Hanson comes down to watch, and then you blow your big moment for a bit of teen angst counselling. Oh, you can just call me Oprah. One day that Scandinavian stick insect will see me for the maverick medical genius that I really am, and then he'll bitterly regret all those times he misjudged me as a complete and utter waste of space. Bring on the day, say I. Thank you. 